Welcome to Northwoods Angling. We're on the St. Croix River once again, and we're hooked into a sturgeon. It's probably one of the last days we're gonna be out here on the water. It's about 34, 35 degrees, and uh, it's gonna get really cold tomorrow. So, we're making the best of it. We're out here, oh geez, fishing for sturgeon, and we're hooked into a good one. Now the cool thing about these is, there he is, wrapped himself up a little. I'll tell you when he unwraps, he's just gonna start going again. There he goes. Nice nut job, Blake. Well, <laughs> that's fish number one. Blake's recording and netting, so it might get a little chaotic tonight, but it's a good way to start the night, that's for sure. Check this guy out. Nice, nice lake sturgeon. Put him over my shoulder for a minute. Oh, he is just green. Look at that guy. Heck yeah, great way to start the night. We're out on the St. Croix River, Minnesota, fishing for lake sturgeon. Little piece of crawler, little piece of shad, and you get one of these guys. So we're gonna get them back, get our rod back out try to get some more of these. All right, let's get them back. Here we go. Once again, I was supporting their belly right into the water, and this guy is just raring to go, so we're gonna let him go. Heck yeah. Great way to start the night, 10 minutes in. Let's get some more. Whew. Oh boy. Early on in the night, big fish, small bite. We just barely seen the rod tip quiver a little bit. I reeled down hard on the fish. Jacob got the camera rolling, and this is a bruiser. This thing is really pulling some drag. Sometimes uh, big ones got a lot of fight in them. Sometimes the medium ones do too. Can never really judge them. I recover a couple feet of line, it pulls a couple feet of line. You don't want to uh, bear down too tight on them because you can bend out your hooks. Thicker the shank hook, the less penetrating power it has. So we like to pick something in between these nine aught, excuse me, seven aught Charlie Brown hooks are really good for what we do. Get them from our Sponsor Dave Ashby over at Bottom Dwellers Tackle. There's only two of us out tonight. That's a good fish. So I'm gonna net that one myself. Heck yeah. Nice fish. Thank you. Not the biggest one I've caught, but the biggest one of the night. It is a dandy. Nice thick bodied fish. Probably approaching that 60 inch mark. High 50s. There you go. Still a little green. Still wants to curl up on us. But a uh, great way to kick off the night. A couple fish in. Impressive showing so far. Nice, girthy, healthy lake sturgeon. And go back with the release immediately so I can get my bait back into the water. The big lumbering giant returns to the depths. Get the baits back out, catch more of them. What did you determine there, Professor? Need some more bait. Well, let me turn on a little light for you. How do you like that? How do you like light me now? <laughs> <laughs> That's a heck of a light joke that I just came up with. There we go. Put the bait on. Uh, step two, Eric Trubin book. You just chuck bait out. Yep, right over there. Chug with a chuck. There you go, chuck, chuck a roo. Splickety sploosh. Another fish on the heavy action, Tomcat custom rod. <laughs> it's kind of exciting. Haven't caught too many on this one. Feel like he's wrapped up. He's like way out there he's at the top. He's way out there. I really bombed this bait. Oh, there I got a splash. Don't go for the anchor. 
got our back anchor going this way tonight. The wind is out of the south, coming at us from across the current. Makes it difficult for anchoring unless you use two anchors. So that's what we've got going on. And then the problem that you run into is these fish want to go for the anchor. Somehow every time they try and find their way to it. Last night out on the St. Croix, and this it is. This is going to be the last night. It's on fire. Last night anybody gets out on the St. Croix is going to be tonight because it's freezing up quick. Check out this guy. Oh, the bigs keep on getting bigger. There we go. Rest him on my leg. Hug him. The bigs keep on getting bigger, and they are feisty tonight. They really, really want to stretch the line out for us. So the more, the merrier is the name of the game when we're fishing with these things. When you get into good fishing with lake sturgeon, it can mean 20, 30, 40 fish a night. And uh, in the short time we've spent so far, we're on pace to do just that. So I want to get this bait back in the water, get this guy unhooked. We're uh, hovering right above freezing right now, so you can have them out for a little bit, but got to get them back into the water. You want me to help you? Help me out, Jake. Ah, just like that, go. real quick. Charlie Browns come out real quick. Yes, they do. Let's get this fish. They'll swim off super. Slaps the side of the boat and dives straight down. That was awesome. All right, so I thought that the boat was swaying. We're, we're uh, definitely not swaying. This fish, out of knowing, has picked up the bait and gone across the whole spread. I hope it didn't get picked up in any of this. Oh, you might be in the motor. I think so. <laughs> so this guy took, the, took it up river on us. Oh. I thought that the boat was swaying. I was over here getting the other line rigged up and I seen the line moving, but I thought that the, thought that the line was swaying. We kind of came off the back anchor a little bit. All right, we're hooked up with another fish. <laughs> it's at the front of the boat. <laughs> He's all the way to the front of the boat. These fish are so cool. Incredible recovery. Uh, the fact that these fish were nearly wiped out of this river super low populations and with the help of special management rules and efforts from uh you're in the front anchor cooperative fishermen get up here do the dance oh boy <laughs> oh, there he goes I don't think I got it. I think he went around it. But I think it might be a really good fish. No, nah, it's just all anchor. My hands are so cold, frozen, soaking wet. I'm gonna show you what my method, so I've dealt with this before, solo. Step onto the anchor rope, pull the fish up. And it's about the same size fish I <laughs> there we go. Ha! <laughs> Not too bad. Pierced him right in the bottom lip. <sighs> Getting the hook out is a whole nother story. Hands are so cold. There's another one. <laughs> Leaking all over my jacket, curling up against my body. Give a quick show of this guy. If you'll straighten out for us. There he is. Lake Sturgeon number umpteen of the evening. Send him back into the icy depths. So cool. He's off. I'm cold. Where's the towel? <laughs> Hands are cold. We are hooked up again. It's just, I mean, probably over 10 minutes tonight. I missed a few. I think I just uh, 
waited a little too long. I wanted to see that bite a couple more times. And I think the biggest thing I've learned is that when you see a bite, just go for it with the sturgeon. I mean, I feel like my hookup percentage is a lot better. And there's the anchor. When I just go for it than when I'm actually waiting for him. So hopefully he pulls out of the anchor. Oh, he's high in it too. And it's a good fish. I got him out. He's wrapped up. I think he's going to get mad when he's unwrapped. Yeah, it's a really good fish. Holy cow. Look at him. He's just top of the water, splashing around, wrapped himself up on the way up. Let's see if I can get him closer. There he's unwrapped. And he might try to dig. Nope. That's a good fish right there. Great sturgeon. Great fishing trip. I mean, somewhere you're able to just drive 30, 40 minutes and be able to get on these big dinosaur fish. I know it's not the huge monsters, but even this, to normal angler, is a massive fish. So, I'm gonna get this guy back. I think we're gonna head out of here. You ready to go? Right. Yeah. yeah. I had a great night. Remember, subscribe, throw a thumbs up if you like it, and uh, as always, stay with the sturgeon. <laughs> oh, water is just freezing. He's ready. He wants to go the other way. There he goes. Sweet. Thanks again for checking us out, guys. We'll see you next time.